16 boys hell yeah <laughs> Holy hell of a song to kick us off with dude fucking we're going lethal weapon to kick off the pod like have we even like talked about that at all on the pod yet i don't think so that's a fresh topic dude do you guys like remember the first time you fucking saw that movie and you guys are just like blown the fuck away because it's the best movie, right? Like it's fucking really good. I'm not gonna waste. I'm not gonna waste any time with this one. I never watched it. Oh, oh man. God, damn it. <laughs> yeah, we kind of knew that though. Like I feel like going into this, I'm like, I'm looking at Jordan the whole time. I'm like, I feel like Jordan's never seen Lethal Weapon, but that's okay. <laughs> Jordan, you've Jordan, prob- do you ha- you gotta watch it. Jordan, you have to watch it. Cancel a cast right now. Jordan, go watch Lethal Weapon. We should we'll just back we, to you. <laughs> we should just live stream us like reacting to Jordan's first lethal weapon viewing. That would like be us good, just being that, yeah, just us watching it because it's so fucking good. Like every scene is just like packed with great lines, utter insanity. Or just action. It's just one of those three. It really is. It's got it all. It's dude, got Mel, dude, Mel Gibson. It's this is like what took him off. Like uh, Martin Riggs was the epitome of like the crazy on edge cop. Like that all <laughs> that all parody eighties fucking um, detective shows have like based around of. He is the a uh, pinnacle of that and it's so fucking good dude yeah I, i'll watch it i, I haven't yeah. watched it yet dude and da- so- you know danny glover uh you, you've seen angels in the outfield right no dude, 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 dude that, yeah. but da- danny glover other just he has the classic line and you've probably heard this line jordan i'm getting too old for this shit because people have used that one right you've heard that oh yeah that's where that uh, phrase is coined from is from lethal weapon danny glover is the guy who says that wow yeah i had no idea yeah so like you've probably at least seen it referenced like um another one it's like Sometimes I get a little nuts, you know, <laughs> so like that. There's another plot. Mel Gibson says that and then shoots a fish tank just to like, yeah, yeah, yeah it, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> There's no rest in that film. There's always something that hits hard. Yeah. You know, it's always like, it's really funny. It's really fucking crazy. It's really sad. Like, there's a part where, like, um, fucking Danny Glover's just like, they got my daughter. Yeah. They got they- my baby girl. They just break down crying. Yeah. Like, it's just like, that, and they're like holding each other. So you see Mel Gibson and Danny Glover just like having it out with it. Well, they've been having it out throughout the whole movie, like kind of being dicks to each other. Like, yeah, there's a scene where um, Danny Glover like shows him his gun. He's like, and Mel Gibson goes, yeah, a lot of old timers have that one. <laughs> or hold that one. Um, the very opening of the movie, he's like doing like a sting operation at a Christmas tree um, shop or like a little Christmas tree lot. And they're like, yeah. that'll be about a hundred. And Mel Gibson just starts like breaking out like a hundred dollars, like just fucking with them essentially. They're like, we mean a hundred thousand. And then he just takes out a badge and goes, or I can just take for free, take it off your hands. Cause I'm a fucking cop. That's like what? one of the first scenes with him in that. Yeah. Then you yeah, the building job. The part where the gun scene's crazy too, because he's like, he's like pretty good shot for an old timer, because like you know he says all the old timers. Yeah, have, yeah. Like, it's basically and then fucking Mel Gibson, Mel Gibson ripping them. sends it like really, really far back. You know how like it's a they're at a shooting range when he's doing this and he's pushing the button and it's just right. going back and back and he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> then fucking just boom 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 smiley face pulls it up it's a fucking smiley face and he's like pretty good shot <laughs> and then and you know while he's shooting it he's just like cynically like shooting it too like he's just like smiling the whole time yeah it's, it's like, epic he still. Look like he's precisely aiming at all he's just like <laughs> In fact, why you know what at this point, why even watch the movie, Jordan? Me and Wooly will just explain all of Lethal Weapon. To Should we you? just run through a whole lethal weapon just run down? Yeah, because we're just getting too old for this shit. Uh, yeah. 
So we get to that part. I have not seen any sequel, by the way. There so are four. I, there there are is four. four. Lethal Weapons, I've only seen one. I, mean, I haven't watched Lethal Weapon 2, 3, or 4 either. I just know Joe Pesci is in the sequels. And I've seen Joe like. Joe Pesci is in Yeah, the Joe. He's. Re- yeah. Like, and he's just like a really like annoying guy. Like, they felt like. <laughs> <laughs> he's just fucking really annoying. I've only seen like clips of that and whatnot. So Joe <laughs> Pesci is in the sequel. I think he becomes like a villain in the third one. But Could there be are wrong. There's three cause... sequels. There's four Lethal Weapons. Yeah. I so I, in two and three, Pesci is in, I believe. So he he makes it into two of the sequels at least. I remember, I've I've seen parts of four and I'm just like, man, they really look like they're getting too old for this shit now. Dude, it's like I, 1992. I've also only seen so in the original one, Mel Gibson has like it's almost like a mullet and a blowout at the same time, like his hairdo. It looks like way crazier. But in the second one, you can tell they gave him a way fucking better budget for like makeup and stuff. So his hair just looks nice as fuck. Like, I've only seen, like, stills of Mel Gibson, like, comparatively from Lethal Weapon to Lethal Weapon 2. And it's just, like, uncanny how different they... Like, it looks so much more polished. Uh, I have heard Lethal Weapon 2 is a very good sequel, though. I Like, not trying to shit on it. Like, maybe we should watch Lethal Weapon 2. <laughs> like, because we're all... Skip one. Nah, you can't skip one. Yeah, one, no, one for Jordan, is- yeah, for Jordan's sake, we can't skip one. But do you fun. think it's the better action movie over Die Hard? Over Die Hard? that's always been the debate. Of the, like, the best 80s, 90s action movie, like that era. Die Hard versus Lethal Weapon. If we're really getting into... <sighs> <laughs> Oh man, that's tough because it's neck and neck. Because like, if you even think about it, like both those movies have such like a cultural impact on the entire nation. One of them's going a whole different direction though. One of them's going like pure, like cheesy, but like really dramatic cheesy. You know? Yeah. Lethal Weapon's crazy because like it's got like that cheesy ass. Like it's actually Eric Clapton playing guitar. Like all those little like yeah, like all that, and then just like a really hard hitting like dramatic story like it's it's really gritty you know what i mean like that's what it really comes down to like uh, i heard way more down to earth it's just like a divorced cop <laughs> yeah with he has he's like i got no <laughs> basically do you think mel gibson like while he was getting pulled over by that cop for that infamous rant he went on could you imagine if he went yeah, sometimes I get a little nuts, like, just before he, like, said all that shit, like, he just, like, quoted Lethal Weapon. Like, could you imagine he, he just, like, called I wouldn't it back? be surprised. I wouldn't be he surprised. He throwing out Lethal Weapon quotes and Mad Max quotes and stuff. Like, the, the, the officers that are pulling him over are like, damn, this guy's good. <laughs> this guy's real fucking good. He even knows his lines in, like, high-stress situations. No wonder this guy's out here making millions. Let of him out. Just let him, just let him free. They're like, let's just let him free. Yeah, before he goes William, uh, William Wallace on. The other cops, like, what the fuck are you talking <laughs> Yeah, the other cops, like, he's drunk driving. Like, that's what it was? Like, he was drunk driving, I think? Like, he got pulled over for it? <laughs> Probably. I, I think know. it was something like that. And then he just went on, like, a crazy rant. He's been, he's been on a couple crazy rants. The guy really is just fucking crazy. They just found a crazy guy to play crazy characters, I feel like. Yeah, and what a perfect matchup, too. Martin Riggs. It wasn't, like, people didn't care about any, um like, image of, like, who a celebrity was back then. There was no, like, Twitter, like, this guy's an asshole. So, like, they're like, um, we just just found this asshole guy but like he's he's really fucking crazy but like he's a good actor remember last, <laughs> remember last pod i was saying how uh jason bateman was just like a problem child in the 80s like nobody really yeah. knew that because twitter wasn't around so but could you imagine no one like, knew everyone was fucking into some shit you know it wasn't like on display every single day he's, he mel gibson's just he said some fucked up shit over the years yeah but that's a topic for another day oh yeah we could have a whole gibson episode this is a weapon this is a lethal weapon episode. We're gonna stick yeah. in the realm. Pretty sure Danny Glover has had a very like good career. You know, he hasn't 
said anything. Dude, great. amazing. Yeah, and he's fucking. <laughs> he's a perf. He's not crazy, but he's the perfect angry guy. If you need an angry guy in your movie, like that, it's an angry guy that you can take like in a lighthearted way. It's like ah. Well, he he's got a. He, you can tell he has a heart. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. He, yeah. He was that on edge manager in Angels in the Outfield. Called back to earlier in the pod again. Like, like his anger is so genuine that it's like you know it's like he just wants what is making him angry to stop yeah exactly like he, there's no malicious intent it's just like he's not being an asshole it's just like you have to understand the situation speaking of sequels somebody i work with actually put me onto this um so we're aware of the alvin and the chipmunks uh series right like yeah, that's very different I- I saw the whole first movie and I was like, why the fuck did I just watch that? Yeah, of course, which I believe too. So they made three. They made the squeak wool and then apparently they made one called Chipwrecked where they're like on a cruise or something. <laughs> Listen to this cameo drop. Fucking John Waters is in Alvin and the Chipmunks 3. Chip Pink Flamingo, uh, the guy who made that. He's in Alvin and the Chipmunks 3, like crazy guy director. And Alvin goes, John Waters, I love Pink Flamingo. Just has a random cameo in like this kid's movie. How much they money did they throw that guy? Him, they do it. Oh yeah, 100%. But that's probably like where all the budget was. Probably just- A lot of celebrities, it's just like them. And there's a golfer right now trying to be like, you know, the Saudi Arabians, they're not so bad. And it's like, aren't you starting a golf league there? He's like, yeah, they're not so bad, you know? Yeah, because the people are probably funding them his pocket they're like the prince ordered the killing of an american journalist and they're like he's like they're not they're not that bad he's like, yeah, like, like what did those journalists really do they're we're bad. starting a golf tournament yeah <laughs> we, we gotta hit the links yeah they'll do whatever they're paid bro i've i've been noticing shit like so on instagram if you like scroll through um just because i burying headlines for the last few pods i dropped my pot i dropped my mixtape a few weeks ago guys fire crotch out woo, woo, woo. um but while i've been like well, thank you thank you oh uh, but while i've been like promoting it i've been noticing like all these like different like marketing music marketing um instagram accounts and like little apps like pop up and essentially they're like paying uh these like larger rappers like through cameo or they're just like throwing them money to be like yeah like uh insta rap is like the best page on instagram right now like you guys should like every rapper should go there but like they're not genuinely saying that they probably don't even have that app on their phone they just got paid money because a guy was like hey i need promotion for my website so can you just say instagram that whole app fucking is just that that one app like oh yeah cameo is that that's what people are doing like because you could literally pay for like a shout out or like there's a business mode too where you click that and it's like a much higher rate but you can give them an entire script and they'll read off the script for you yeah That's it's like it it's not all the you know it's not everybody you'll find on there but you find a lot of famous people on there for no apparent reason but it's like do you blame them it's like a quick buck you know what i mean yeah no no it makes sense it's just kind of great like you wouldn't think it would be that pop. you know what i mean you would yeah. think that these people making mad money would be like I'm not yeah. fucking like saying hello to this guy's cousin, but no, nah, they're just sitting there like, yeah. So hairy. <laughs> and it's also like for people that it's like, oh my God, like, um, I can get my aunt the entire cast of full house to say happy birthday to them right now <laughs> when bob sag was alive and she'd just be like oh my god it's okay just and for like 350 dollars, and it's like it, to me it seems kind of fucked up that these people would act like like three or four minutes of their time is worth like that much money but it is to some people i guess but it's still just crazy how how you know far I mean? do you think people go on there like how fucking far do you think yeah people, like go like are people just I, fuck i can't remember his name but he has like he does it for like 50 bucks <laughs> He's are you talking are you talking about perfect. gilbert Gottfried? no no which rest um, in peace by the way give him his flowers he just passed away recently but like who is that guy he's I like know, uh jeff um no, not Jeff Ross. It's like, I can't remember this. I can't remember anything else this fucking guy is in. Yeah. He's in, he's in this one movie, Rat Race. I remember that. Mm. But like circling back a little bit, um, I'm not really talking about like the rates at which they sell their cameos at. I'm talking about like what, like, 
what are they willing to do for that $300? Like, what is the request that they could do? Like, what if they were like, all right, um, John Stamos, Uncle Jesse, uh, thank you so much for uh, taking the time of your day and um, saying happy birthday to my aunt. But could you just do it in your underwear? You don't have to do a fully naked, like, like, where is like the fine line? Like, you know what I mean? Like, how far do some of these celebrities go and how far have they gone? It depends on how much they're getting paid. For sure. Because they know they can get recorded. They'll probably just like be like, nah. They'd be like, no, they'd be like, no way. Unless they're just like the whole cast, the full house. And then Dave Coulier saying to John Stamos, well, wait, 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 John. If we all just be in our underwear, maybe we can charge a little bit. Imagine like the debating. whole cast of Full House was just like butt naked, ready to do the cameo. Like, oh, oh wait, you want an underwear? Wait, you want? <laughs> yeah, they're just like, oh wait, you wanted no underwear? You just <laughs> really, we did not know what app we were doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, you send her the video, and it just says, um notifications are silenced like right immediately after what it said yeah. <laughs> you'd never hear from him again jordan fuck mary kill john stamos dave coulier bob saget the full house edition here. the whole fuck yeah the full house edition what's going on yeah fuck mary, <laughs> like, kill. Wait, fuck mary kill bob saget when he was alive r.i.p um very appreciative of his work Dave Coulier, Uncle Joey, you know him, you love him. Uh, cut it out. And John Stamos, Uncle Jesse, ripping the fucking Harley, leather jacket, all the hair. Who are you going for, Jordan? Who are you going for? Like, out of all of them? For what? Yeah. Going for what? Fuck, Mary Kill. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, well, I am going to kill Bob Saget. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I mean too soon. Jeez. I mean, I would go with like <laughs> No, it's okay. I mean, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. I go, I go on. I just think it was funny that like backtracking, I'm like, Jordan, fuck Mary Kill, Bob Saget, Dave Poulier, fucking John Stamos. He's like, wait, what what the what the fuck yeah i just like dropped a bombshell on you and you were like okay i just named and explained the entire past <laughs> who you marry i could see you marrying uncle joey i could see you being a total <laughs> like i could just like see that with you guys you know just like making like a fucking like like stews at night like drinking cabernets <laughs> and shit well, i have to answer the question i mean i could just answer it for you <laughs> I don't like his parents or marry any of the dudes on that fucking <laughs> That's why it's such a hard one, you know. And you know what? It's because we're getting too old for this shit. <laughs> god. god. Oh my god. Damn. This is fucked up. This is I like now oh, if I gotta marry one of the fucking dudes bro like full house. From fucking full house. <laughs> all right let's, there's let's, no let's other go. option any someone we'll like, just dun, leave this dun under your hand and all we know is you're definitely <laughs> killing bob saying yeah <laughs> so it's like <laughs> no, yeah. the rest is unknown <laughs> yeah oh, man so we gotta watch lethal weapon we gotta just like all get together and throw that on Next time we're together. Yeah. yeah. I'll bring a fucking, I'll find it on like a dollar Blu-ray rack or some shit somewhere. Oh, 1,000. We we can find a lot of lethal weapons. So like, can we turn that into a game? Like, how many lethal weapons can we bring? Just the whole, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> you're like, all right, I got two DVDs. You know, or like a box set. It's just like Mel Gibson's head. Yeah, you just untwist the top and like it's like slots with like all the lethal weapons. Uh, it's like cash and price. You and push like a little button, you just hear uh, Danny, you just hear him like being too old for this shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Huh? I feel terrible. You feel terrible. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, I don't know. This pod like it started off so nice and now it's like we just left a little sour taste in our mouths. Well, dude, let's not end on that. What do you got, Jordan? What do you got for us? Um... All right. Okay, um, around Orlando, I, I, I got two people in my neighborhood who I specifically don't want to talk to. Oh, what <laughs> happens? What's going right. on? You got neighbor troubles? Nah, like, this lady, like, pulled up on me, and she was like, hi, and I was like, 
hi. And then she like tries smoking with me. And then Wait, get, I, getting you to smoke her up, like that type of deal. Like that type no, of thing. She tried to smoke me up. Oh was, damn. Fucking you're just like fucking hot piece of ass out here just being like, What's going on there? You wanna smoke my man? <laughs> yeah. What happened? Yeah, what all right, continue. I smoked with her and then I started like realizing this lady is off the fucking rockers. I couldn't get rid of her, bro. Like, You're like, but but hey, that's how you know that weed's hitting, though. You know? Yeah. <laughs> You're getting some good-ass weed. Yo, I'm hoping it was fucking weed. <laughs> but you should have got laced or something. You, you wake up, like, ten weed. hours later in the woods, like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there was that lady who could kept talking. And then I got rolled up on by some fed while I was smoking in my car, bro. Oh, you had a little ins, dude. <laughs> yeah. They like pulled up on me. Like I was like packing my bong. And then all I hear is, hey, could you step out the car for a minute and talk with us? And you're just we'll like, talk about oh. the marijuana in a minute. I was like, bro. <laughs> well, what happened? How'd you finagle your way out of this one? Um, was he off duty? No, they like pulled up out of nowhere. Like they surrounded my car. Oh, and then they dude. just talked to you about marijuana and let you go. They searched my car. And, um, fucking, they checked all my shit. They found a prescription bottle of, uh, like, ibuprofen that wasn't mine. What's Wait, you had, they was like, count, you had some street Advil, bro? <laughs> yeah, you, you had that fucking, <laughs> you like, naproxen sodium. Pure cut. Yeah. <laughs> they everything from me. Everything. You go out there, guys, like, what you need? You're like, aspirin. <laughs> but they didn't arrest you? No, nah, they just, they were like, you know, you were cool, straightforward. We're going to give you a verbal warning. So, did they pull up to you in, like, cop cars and shit? They, like, were parked down the street and, like, walked up on me, bro. But you saw Imagine the cop car. all, like, a, like, a ruse, though, that I just stole all your weed. Yeah, did you just, like, somehow get robbed? Like, in just, like, in the most, like, elaborate way possible? <laughs> we're gonna walk up on him. We're gonna say we're federal agents. We're gonna take his weed and we're just gonna leave. <laughs> yeah, they're like, it works every single time. <laughs> Unless we do it to cops, then we get really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, they robbed my ass. Man. Did they ever show any badges or anything? Um, no, but I seen them. They were it was on their chest. It, it was just like that was the first time anything like that has ever happened to me, dude. They that's just... fucking wild. I feel like I don't know, man. I don't think these guys were cops. Cops yeah. never let you fucking go. Is that like common out there? I don't know. Like, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. We're I from mean, like I'm... a town where like any drug bust like is like fucking. Yeah, you'll see it in the paper. Yeah, so it's like I mean, I guess it could be culturally different. I'm, They'll take we... a picture with like a grab cap, like a socket. You'll see like a cop with a picture. <laughs> they they fully could have been cops, and they were just like, "Do you want to like smoke?" And then the other cops just like. Yeah, but like, uh, my connects like not in town, and the other cops like, oh, trust me, we're good. Like, <laughs> and he just, like, <laughs> and then as soon as they drove up, they see Jordan, and they're like, that guy definitely has weed. So like, all right, we're gonna park right up here, and they're like, uh, what's going on today, man? <laughs> like, you know, we're all civil about it. Yeah, bro. Like they, I didn't even see them when they pulled up on me. I just heard them. Adult smoke weed. That's what happened. Adult smoke weed. Yeah, shout out to Fire Crotch. Fire Crotch. 2022. 2022. <laughs> Hell yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, that was my little rendezvous this fucking week. The yeah, fed. that sounds stressful as fuck, man. It's weird. Back in Jersey, it's legal now. We're just like going into the store and buying. Yeah, it. we're just, everyone's just like stoned now. It's like actually. Yeah, it seems awesome. like it. Dude, what I went to um, um a Jets game. And, like, a truck just pulled up and was just selling weed right at the tailgate. <laughs> no one was saying anything. Like, I mean, I don't think that was even legal at the time. But, like, the, no. cops, were like, the cops were just, like, whatever. It was, like, they were, like, it was, like, a vendor truck. Like, what you would buy, like, a fucking, like, um, hot dog or, like, taco out of. You know what I mean? But they were just selling yeah. weed. Like, not Yeah, know. it's cool. Yeah, that's definitely not legal yet. But the cops were like, "Is that legal yet?" They're like, "It's not my jurisdiction." They're just like, "Hey, <laughs> go Jets!" <laughs> New York made a law where yeah. cops can't smoke weed, but New Jersey is actually like, "Yeah, cops can smoke weed." 
Yeah. <laughs> that's what's all i'm so glad that article came out because I, I wrote fucking adult smoke weed and i do say uh policeman fireman ice cream man be smoking reefer and i'm like but can policemen smoke fucking reefer and then that article came out and i'm like oh they can fuck yeah <laughs> i was like i was absolutely right so it's like completely legal i can go to a dispensary if i'm in new jersey yeah there's plenty of things hey, go now. buy weed yeah they're just like, hey, dude, like, do you want this weed? And you're like, yeah, I got this money right here. And they're like, yeah, we take that for the weed. And you're like, so you get this money and I get that weed. And like, I won't get like arrested or anything. Like, there's not like a cop waiting outside or not. They're like, nah, you can just like go home, get really. There is angry. a cop waiting outside, but he's like waiting to get in by his weed. Yeah, he's waiting <laughs> to get off the clock. He, it's like 458. And he's like, all right, two minutes, two fucking minutes. So uh, maybe three. I'll go at a 01 just so it's not any discretion. <laughs> like, you're not. <laughs> Around five o'clock toward my hours um but they're just like yeah you know you can just like buy this weed you can go home watch lethal weapon maybe watch lethal weapon 2 right after that follow it up with some die hard and then end your night have a great night and smoke some up wow it is pretty crazy it's it's like we almost take it for granted because like when i did it i was like that was awesome i know like, there's so many states you can't do that shit it sucks. It felt like liberating you know, I feel like it's just liberating. You just finally can. Has to be. I can't wait to get down there. Like, we've been fighting the good fight for a long time. And here we are. Like, and like, honestly, an easy fight to fight. Because all we did was just kept smoking weed, even when it was legal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty good fight. So, yeah, yeah. Like, we, we, we fucking held our own, guys. Hell yeah. <laughs> We pulled with the punches, you know, we went tit for tat. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, don't literally. smoke weed, and we were just like, we're going to smoke weed. Yeah, and then they're like, no, you can't smoke weed, and we're like, we're going to smoke even more weed. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Let's do final fucking grabs, boys. On that note, to smoke and more weed. <laughs> Thank you.